guys, George Morris, and here we are at our first virtual summit in the history of the company. Never in my wildest dreams I think that we would be in a moment where we are actually having to go virtual. You know, I was yesterday, I had the opportunity to sit down with one of my closest friends, mentors, and he was expressing the tragedy, travesty of everything that's going on. As I sat and visited with him, he got choked up. And why he got choked up is he began to express his tragedy, his struggle, and his frustration in relation in relationship to the fact that he's in his mid seventies and doesn't have the opportunity to spend time with his grandkids, his grandchildren, have them over to the home to go back and forth and to be able to have that association with one another. Guys, I just want to just challenge you to recognize that we cannot lose perspective in these unprecedented moments and times. And as we certainly will recognize and we will celebrate the accomplishments for a moment of those who have done extraordinary feats, extraordinary things uh, in their behavior, in their business, in the things they're doing, we have to not lose perspective of the challenges that each one of us are facing. You know, I, I wrote down some notes here and I wrote down that there are people who are scared, there are people who are worried, there are people who are truly humbled by the experiences that are happening around them. I wrote down that there's a tremendous amount of empathy that's going out and I'm seeing it left and right. I'm seeing a tremendous amount of outpouring of love and appreciation and gratitude for one another. I'm seeing tons of service and the ability to watch our agents be able to go out and to truly be that person, that leader who has the capacity to make a difference in the lives of the elderly or the people who are really struggling. I hope that you'll take this time to reflect. I hope that you'll take this time to take a step back and recognize that each one of us individually can make a difference as we move through these days and these challenges. But I also wanna make sure that not one of us for a second loses hope. Look, as we move through these unprecedented moments, there's lots of changes that are going on and they are at moments very heartbreaking, they're very challenging and sometimes it's pretty easy to lose hope for what's going on and where we're where things are headed. I want you to know how committed that I am committed to this group committed to our company which is the people that reside within it. You know a lot of people are asking questions of why this why are we doing that why are we making these changes I'm not going to go into great detail but I want you to just say, I want to express one key factor and that is is that my job as the, as the CEO of this organization is to protect it. And that to me means to protect you. That means to protect the agents, protect the employees that are here. And yet I realize that there's the hardships and the challenges where we've taken a step back and we've re-strategized our approach. In relationship to doing that, that isn't a sign of weakness. In fact, what I would tell you is a sign of strength as we reposition different corridors and different pieces of the company. People would, might want to point a finger. They might want to give you doubt. They might want to tell you that things aren't working well enough. Therefore, these actions are being taken. Guys, never in the history of our world have we dealt with so much tragedy. Tra tra travesty. And you look at and the tragic things that are going on. So we have to, as a united front, we have to grow together. We have to build together. We have to serve together. We need to align together. And I know that there is going to be individuals, there's going to be outside forces, outside brokerages, outside individuals who are going to try to penetrate truly the awesome culture of Everest. And I'm looking to you with me to protect that, to protect what we've created together, that it's the refuge for many people. It's where they find hope. It's where they find their center. It's where they find the ability to provide for their family and for their future. It's where their dreams are often realized. And oftentimes our most absolutely heartfelt and difficult moments when we even have, you know, as, you, as we all know, there is that moment of times in life where people pass away, and the tears that are shed because of the loss of loved ones within our company, spouses or others that we know. These, these moments shape us. And part of, part of where we're heading and what we're doing as an organization is to make sure that we have more of these moments to support one another, to make sure that if I was to look around right now, I have to tell you, I wish nothing but 
absolute success for all of the competitors out in the marketplace. I don't care whether they're an independent, I don't care whether they're another brokerage, I want them to succeed. I also on the same hand would say that I would be more nervous, more petrified, more scared if I didn't see an organization taking extreme actions in an extreme situation of challenge. That's who we are, that's who you are. So as we move through these days, these weeks, these months to come, don't lose hope. I'm here for you, so are your managers. If you want to execute upon how to do a Zoom call, which many of you are listening right now, how to maximize your ability to list a home still in today's market, whether it's in California or Utah, and how we go about that, or whether it's how we show property, those are the exciting things of our morning meetings, and we start to get more pragmatic, and we get more detail-oriented into the actual things that need to be done, and the ideas, and the vision, and the creativity that's necessary for you to succeed. That's the next steps as we bring a calm to knowing what, at some level, what we're dealing with. And although we don't know the time frames, we do know that we can get through this and we're going to get through all of this together. So I know there's been many tears shed. And as I yesterday had the opportunity to sit again, sit down again with one of my most important mentors of my life and watch him get choked up as the fact that he could not see those that he loved because of his age and the risks that are at hand, my heart broke. So let's not, let's not think for a moment that those are not difficult moments. Let's not for a moment think that we don't need to be incredibly sensitive, incredibly compassionate, that we have the, that we have the privilege, the blessing to even be more loving today than ever before. Actually, if there's anything that has been positive to what we're doing together, there's been one thing that I have seen, and I'm watching it within all of you, and that is as a higher level of commitment to be who you ultimately want to be. I'm watching, again, more compassion, more heartfelt thanks, more gratitude, more love, more service. This is what defines who we are at Everest. That's what defines who we are as an organization. I want to just put to rest the rumor bill of the craziness of whether or not your commissions are safe or not. That is not that is the most ridiculous statement, but I get it that it could be a fear, but I want you to know that they are safe and there would never be a collusion of your funds with the funds to run this company. And number two, most importantly, the public's money, meaning the trust accounts. I think it is interesting that a company that takes action begins to be attacked because it's going to protect what it has created. And that is my commitment to you. There will never be a moment where that is an issue. There will never be a moment where we are at risk to not go forward because of the actions that we take. The good news is there are people who are behind this company, from myself to others, that are going to instill and continue to instill a deep level of confidence as to where we are heading. Because we take a step back and actions we take, those are the decisions of great leadership and a great team that is surrounding you to protect you, the agent, because you are the company. So as we move forward today, I hope that you'll realize that, look, we've got great opportunities ahead. Don't lose hope. Don't stop loving. Don't stop caring. Don't stop having concern. Get really involved in the strategies that you're going to approach the business today. Get on the morning calls or listen to them just a little bit later. Listen to the daily messages. Listen to the resources that are available to you. I'm most excited about what we're doing. We're creating these Facebook, group, uh, Facebook groups for both Utah and California, where we're going to bring in ideas in regards to the ways in which business can be done today. Strategize and mastermind together. We're going to take it to another level where we provide things regarding the CDC and what's going on from the health standpoints of our country from a local level to a national level. We're going to talk about what the White House is doing and give you information and you know, what's going on in the administration of today. We're going to talk and give you information regarding what's happening with the governor and whether it be Governor Herbert in Utah or Governor Newsom in California, let's make sure we're clear on what they're doing and what they're providing. There's some really exciting things that are happening with NAR. I love the fact that today or yesterday that New York 
just uh, authorized the ability to have mobile notary be electronic, meaning that there doesn't have to be someone who's exchanging a uh, face-to-face type of conversation. These are the types of things we want to bring to you. These are the solutions to your business. These are the ways in which we can transact more business for not only now, but for the years to come, both in Utah and in California. That's where we're heading. That's where we're going. And I hope that we will stand united together in doing so. Guys, we have a great story to tell. And you have done some extraordinary things as the years have gone on. And we will continue to do those things together. And although everyone may not agree with every decision that is made, this is the one thing that you can never be in doubt of, ever. And that is this, we will win. We will succeed and we will remain hopeful through all of this. And as we do so, we're going to have an extraordinary story to tell. We're gonna talk about how we stay in the positive, how we remain hopeful, how we continue to love our neighbor and love those around us. And we're going to talk and we're going to get into the remembrance of the innovation and the creation that occurred during these times of how we did, how we did business, how we promoted homes, how we help buyers buy homes when such difficulty and challenges are going on. So look, in the end, we're all going to be okay. We're going to get through this. That I promise. I promise you that we as an organization have never in the history of our company been more focused, more driven, more creative, more innovative to make sure and to ensure that you win the game as we move forward. So as we switch gears, just recognize the great love and appreciation that I have for you and the entire leadership team has for you. And I could not be more pleased and happy with the things that you are doing and the successes that you have had. 2019 was a banner year for a lot of you. You did some extraordinary things. And although we would love to recognize you in person. We would love to give you a virtual hug. We would love to have the capacity to put our arms around you, high five you, take a picture with you. Nothing about that do we not want to do. We want to do that. We wish we were at the Reagan Library. We wish we were down at the Larry H. Miller Center. We wish that we were able to do those things because it's tragic that we can't. I know that many of you on these lists that I have have, uh, you know, we're awarded, if you would say, the gift of a trip. Gosh, it's heartening, disheartening to know that, hey, you know what? We've got that, uh, you know, down the road. But here's the good news. We've already scheduled uh, the Big Island. We're going to the Big Island next year in 2021. But we've already scheduled 2022 for Kauai. Again, it's already in the books, already in contract, and already scheduled. These are exciting times for both Utah and California. And I, nothing was going to make me more, I, I can't think of anything more exciting when I knew that all of this great leadership, all of the people on this awards that are getting awards were going to merge together in one common place to exchange ideas, strategies, ways in which they did business. Instead of just hearing about a name, they got to see the person face to face. That, the, that, that I really wish, I hope you know that I am very sensitive to that. And I know that I am looking forward to 2021 and 2022 where we gather again in that type of scenario. So with that, I've got Danette Gramp in this room. She's keeping her six feet of distance. I've got Russ Orchard here also, and I've got Sam Bell. And these guys are here to help me as we go through and certainly recognize you and help you know that we are so grateful for what you have done. And we are so grateful for where you have taken this company, and especially because of where we're gonna go in the future. These are defining moments as we move forward. Every year, in the beginning of a summit, I always talk about this idea. See, summits that are award summits are often a great challenge because there's a lot of people in the audience that are there to support their friends. There's family members often in the audience. There's people who are sitting there looking at people and seeing their successes. But life's interesting. See, the problem is, is that we always want to compare what did we do? It's our natural reaction. What did we do in relationship to what others are doing? And what I'm hoping today is that you will look at your award and those that have championed the cause and done some extraordinary things that they are able, you are able to, and others are able to say, look, I want to celebrate the great accomplishments of others. But more importantly, what I'm interested in is what did I do 
in relationship to what could I have done. And really, look, my objective in life is always to help any and every individual that ever comes into my path to help them to become the very best at what they do. The very best at what they do. And my hope and my true prayer is that you will continue down that path. Look, guys, we, we are only one quarter into 2020. There's a lot of time left. There's a lot of time left in this year, and there's a lot of months left. So you guys know this. You don't win a basketball game in the first quarter. You don't win a hockey game in the first period. You don't win a golf match in the first four or five holes. So we got a long game ahead of us. So let's make sure that 2020 remains incredibly positive, that we do everything we can, that our innovation and creativity takes over, and we go win the game in 2020. You guys are absolutely the best. So with that, I'm going to read through, and I want to mention my name, many of the people. And Russell, let me just make sure we've choreographed this correctly, but we're starting with Utah first. Is that right? Okay, is that what you've got? So as we, as we go through there, I just want to recognize that, guys, you're doing some great stuff, and we're going to continue to do some great stuff. And Zach, did you want me to take something from you? Oh, perfect. All right, excellent. She's given me, I just wanted to give you uh, some information in regards to the Masters Ruby. And let's just start here. So for Utah, those who earned the Masters Ruby, I'm also going to mention some quality service awards, meaning that they gave exceptional service as we move through this. Guys, I, I, I am not perfect at this by any means. And this is my inaugural event. I want you to think about it. It's like you going on your first listing appointment or your first buyer's appointment. So this is a little bit new how we're doing it. And please forgive me if there's a mistake. Please forgive me if I say someone's name incorrectly. Please forgive me if I somehow, heaven forbid, I miss a name. Please don't, don't hold that against me because I have such great love and appreciation and gratitude for who you are and what you've done. So with that, Danette, anything else? Are we ready to roll? Start with the All right, here we go. So the Masters Ruby is for those who earn between $149,000 and $194,900, or they did between 34 and 44 units. And so for Utah, we have this. We have Tim Learned, Lila Jessup, Hillary Wade, Shay McGee, Abraham Pedraza, Joanne Featherstone, Zachary Baker, Tuan Nogo, Steve, Sh Steve Schroeder, Sh Sh yes. Deanna Haskett, Brian McKinnon. Brian McKinnon also received the Quality Service Pinnacle Award, which is, an, again, another testament to the amount of service, and that is the responses and people responding to the surveys and letting them know what a great job he's doing. Curtis Perry, Heather Mercer, Brandon McBride, Mike Harris, who I just a wonderful conversation yesterday with, he also received a Quality Service Pinnacle Award. Again, just a, a, a great agent who gives extraordinary service. Chad Morris, Brittany Andra, Bruce Burnett, Lori Levinson, Tyson Craig, Christopher Armstrong, Aaron Christensen, Carlin Bedwell. Carlin also received the Quality Service Pinnacle Award. So great job, Carlin. Bryce Hansen, Trent Hyde, Matt Salter, and Mike Stangel. Guys, let's give a round of applause for those guys. Woo! All right. So with that, I'm going to then switch. You know, I'm sure. gonna, I'm gonna, is it possible for you to jump through to do California's rubies? Sure. sure. We're gonna do. You know what? We're gonna keep it all the same. So Love California's it. rubies. We're gonna. We're, we're we're moving on this thing right as we sit here. So as we move through this, here's our rubies, and then their quality and those who have the quality service. Okay. So again. The Masters Ruby is between 149 and 194.9 in income. Betty Fernandez, Gavin Ledeen, Pete Derridix, Matt Salit, who also, Matt, is doing such great work, he will also receive the Quality Service Producer Award. Judy Oaxaca, Walter and Camille Morris, Karen Rook, Lixon Dur Durboro, who also received the Quality Service Producer Award. Sandra and Richard Rudder, and Patty Ross. Congratulations, guys, who have received the Ruby Masters Award. All right, we are going to jump to the Emerald Masters Emerald. Please give it to me. Yes, thank you. Masters Emerald, 
which is $195,000 to $241,000, or they did between 45 transactions to 56 transactions. And I'm gonna stay here right now, we're still with California since I've got this sheet up. So we're going to California, you got that up there, Russ? I'm, I'm, getting, I'm putting Russ on the spot with my, his AP. All right, here we go. Tracy Baldwin Mahone. We've got Wynn Fernandez, who also got the Quality Service Pinnacle Producer Award. She did a great job, obviously, uh, with her service. Dan Andrezi, Deborah Poole, Andrea Roeder, Afifa Rafig, Scott and, oh my gosh, I'm not reading that right there. Scott and, oh my gosh, is it, I can't remember her name now. I'm like, wow, you're gonna kill me, Scott. Do you know her text all the time? So I've got Scott and I think it's Mel. Oh gosh, get that. We're gonna come back to that. Get her name. We got Scott Puckett and his wonderful, Mayette, beautiful wife. Mayat. Mayat. Oh my gosh, I know what it is. But I only get to see her when we go to Hawaii, man. So please forgive me. All right. And then we've got Gabby Tellis, and then we've got Veronica Salazar. That is our Masters Emerald Award winners. Great job, guys. That's for Utah, for California. Then as we move to Utah for our Masters Emeralds. It is, here's our list, and that is, here we go, Alma and Jennifer Merrill, Evelyn Struzanski, who also got the Quality Service Producer Award. Oh, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> forgive me. Jeff Staples, Mike Cottle, Sherry Peck, and David Eggett. Dave also got that Quality Service Producer Award. Nice job, David. Jason West, Jeanette Davis, Justin Crane, Jeremy and Chris Fitzgerald, Shane Souls, Kurt Matz, and Josh Madsen, Masters Emerald, guys. Nice Woo! job. All right, we're going to produce, now we're going to Masters Diamond. We're going to stay with Utah on the Masters Diamond. Masters Diamond is $241,000 to $287,000, or between 57 units and 68 units. And we'll go to that, $241,000 to $287,000. And we have number one next here in the Masters Diamond Producers, Dan Monch, Rich Castleberry, Brady Warren, Tammy and Kyle Jones, Jeff Laguerre, Jason Snell, who also received the Quality Service Pinnacle Award. Great job, Jason. Lance Gummersall, Amber Milton, Tichelle Sectarian, Trent Rogers, Brenda Lee Jones, who also got the Quality Service Pinnacle Award. Nice job, Brenda Lee. And Evan Child. Nice job, Masters. That's what All right, for California on the Masters Diamond. I have got Robbie Starr. I have got Maria Nolan. I have Bernadette Schneibel. I have Deborah Delaney and Jeff Rosenblum. Nice job, guys. Well done, the Masters, the Masters Diamond. All right, now we're jumping to our Centurions. We're jumping up a notch here. These are individuals who earned over $288,000 to $575,000, or they did between 69 units and 137 units. So 288 to 575,000, that is our Centurion. Let's stay with California on that list right now, and there is a good number of these guys, man. Great job, great, great, great job. We've got Net First, we've got Donna McGuire, we've got Brianne Steen, we've got uh, Shannon Porter, my Green Bay Packer fan, Dallas Corp Cowboys, let's go. Jesus Landron, Blake Mashburn, Charlie and Irma Argan, Argwin, uh, Debbie Briscoe, Ken Gretsch, and Christy Rupert. And then we've got, let's make sure I'm not- Keep uh, going. Yeah. Keep going, all right, just making sure. Marty Ahern, which is, he's doing such extraordinary things. Him and Joe, in regards to what's happening there on the commercial side, great job, guys. Mike and Kristen Plisky, we've got Ray De Silva. Elizabeth Everson, Susan Kozman, Kay Wilson Bolton, and then we've got uh, from a. Now we have teams. We're gonna, go team, we're gonna do team in a second. All right, okay, congratulations, guys. Nice job. Let's go for Centurions here in Utah. For Utah, we've got Tyler Higgins. Man, he's making a lot of money. I don't know how his golf game's going, but hopefully that's going good, Tyler. All right, here we go. Number two, we got Mindy Daly. We've got Jay Bentley. We got Josh Bingham. We've got April Oaks. We got Ruby Reese, Chad Wagstaff, Joanna Williams, Aaron Oldham, Amy Laster Haynes, Aaron Mailer, and Dave Puff. Guys, 
great job. Great, 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 great job. I just enjoyed it. All right. Now we're just skipping Utah to Grand Century. All right, we're skipping. We don't even have a double century in, in Utah that's not a team. We'll get to teams in just one moment. But we've got a Grand Centurion. That means that you earned as a single agent $864,000 or more, or you did over 207 units. So $864,000 or over 207 units. And boy, I love this. We got, number, he's the number five agent nationwide for all of Century 21, which means over a, you know, there's a, a 80, 90,000 people ahead of him. And he is the number five agent in the nation, right down there in our good old St. George, Utah. And we've got Brian Burnett. Congratulations, Brian. Woo! All right. Uh, let me just jump over here to see if we've got uh, no, wait, any. Wait, we've got, now we've got our grand. We've got our grand centurions for our teams. Our doubles and grand centurion individuals in California. Don't forget them. Yep. So I am doing. So here's the doubles. So come over here for just one second. So these two are here. So no, we're going back to Those, the individuals. I'm sorry. Okay, all right, we're going. I got it. I'm with you. I got you. All right, we're good. We're good. I got it. All right, here we go. Double centurions. Like I said, man, I'm a novice. I'm new. Plus, I always like to see if I can get the net on something on on TV or on the on the screen. She doesn't like that. She likes to put it all together. She doesn't like to be in front of it all. All right. So remember, double centurions which are earning between $576,000 and $863,000, double centurion. So for double centurion, we have Matt Liebman, we have Judy and Ray Lewicki, and we have Kathleen Bruno. Nice job, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations, double centurion producer. Great job, great job. That ends the part in regards to the single agents, as I- Except uh, for Debbie, right? no, Debbie. Oh, we've got- Oh, we've got one more over there. She's a grand. Yeah, okay, all right. Where are we going? Let's go next. We got one over there. I was thinking she was part of the team, but she is not. So what's next? Grand oh, do you want to do Debbie, Debbie Gates Grand Century? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. So, okay, here we go. Well, that makes it easy. I guess we don't need it. Because it was just like what Brian So here we go. So Brian Burnett was our Grand Century. And there we go. $864,000 or more. What I love is she is the number four. How about this, guys? We have the number five agent in the world or nation for Century 21 in St. George, Utah. We've got Debbie Gates, the number four agent in the nation, right there in Simi Valley, guys. So cool to see what you guys are doing. Again, congratulations, Debbie Gates, as the as a Grand Centurion for the company as an individual agent. Great job, guys. Woo, Debbie! Great job, Debbie. Everyone knows her story. If you don't, you should know it. And I can't think of someone who has more heart, more spirit, more joy, more love to give out and especially with everything she went through. Very, very proud of you, Debbie. Great, great, great work. Okay, all right, we're gonna to go to Masters Teams, right? Are yep. we doing next? Right here. All right, Masters Teams. We're gonna stay here with California. So California Masters Team. We've got the Posadas Real Estate Group. Great job, Mario and Anna. Great job, Woo! congratulations. And we've got Steve and Crystal, who are kicking butt up there in Santa Clarita, California. So nice job, guys. Congratulations. All right, Masters Teams for Utah. Do we have any Masters Teams for Utah? I don't believe no, we do. No, I don't believe we do. No. These are Centurion Teams. So no, there we go. Those are Masters Teams for Utah. All right, and our Masters Teams for Utah. Do you want to have what they earned? So Masters Teams for Utah means that they earned over $298,000 up to $405,000. And they did between 69 transactions and 103. So they're doing some great business. This is our master's teams. We've got Fred Law. We've got, uh, we've got uh, uh, Cody and Martha Emery. So the uh, Emery team. And we've got uh, Clint. I guess what's Clint's last name? I can't remember Clint's last Robertson. name. Robertson. Clint Robertson. And then we've got Aaron Richardson. And we've got John Hunter. Congratulations, guys, on the master's team. Congratulations. All right. Great job, guys. All right, what are we doing next? Here we go, double Centurion teams. We'll sit here and stay with, uh, now we haven't done Centurion teams. Yes, that's right. All right, I can't believe I'm even catching this, guys. Can't even believe I'm even catching it. But here we go. We've got our Centurion teams. They're those who earn between 406,000 bucks and up to 811,000, or they did 104 transactions up to 270 transactions or units. And we, with this, we have the Noel Group, which is Brian Ruthann Noel, 
We've got Doug Carey. We've got Heidi and Derek, Derek Castain. We've got Ter Jessica Terry Schneider. We've got the Belknap, te Belknap team. His wife is on his way to have their baby, which is fantastic. Go get it. Brent, uh, love to see what you guys are doing. Team Kruger and uh, with Leah. And then we've got uh, uh, La Chinta team, which of course, boy, that is the great uh, Lou and we love what she's done with her team. So congratulations here, Cherry and team. Congratulations, great job. All right. And uh, go ahead and do the double centering teams in Utah. Okay. All right, we're doing double centurion teams. Yes, yeah. you're done with California. So. All right, double centurion Tina. teams. Oh, Except for Tina. Yeah. All right, here we go. Double centurion teams for Utah, which is eight hundred twelve thousand to one million dollars. Eight hundred twelve thousand to one million dollars, or two hundred eight to three hundred eleven units for the first team here. Uh, who's a double centurion team in Utah? We have the Amy Clark team who also ranked number 27th team nationwide for Century 21 on what's called the Relentless Five. Nice job, great job, Amy. The number next, we have the Utah Listing Service Team, which is with Phil Harvey and his brand motley crew of agents. And he also was in the Obsessed Team, which means he ranked number 31 in the nation for Century 21. So great job, Phil, and your team. We have Utah Best Real Estate Team, which is Nikki Nunez and Mark Apuna. They also became, uh, were number 27 uh, team nationwide in the obsessed category for Century 21. And again, they are a double centurion. Our heart and our prayers go out to you, Nikki, and to Mark. Uh, if you are not aware, if we look at all the tragedy and struggle around, this is one of these very, very unfortunate moments where they had a passing of their son who was only 14 years old. Uh, they they uh, need your heart, they need your thoughts, and they need your prayers. And uh, you are in ours, Mark and uh, Nikki. Uh, we truly hope that you are watched over and protected during these most difficult moments. All right, with that. Uh, now we, just... we have some teams in California right, too. Right, that's what I was, yep, we've got some teams here on the California yes. side. Uh -huh. I was talking teams, you're, you're saying we're done with individuals, right? Correct, so we've got to go back to the Centurion teams. We haven't done Arzate, yep. no, or? All right, I got it, here we go. All right, hey, so for a Centurion team, which means that you earned as a Centurion, what did they earn? Gonna, all right, here we go. As a Centurion team, they earned between 406,000, 811,000, so great job, Vicente and his team. Nice job, guys. Woo! Congratulations. And then the other Centurion team in California is the Trish Perez team. So great job, Trish, and your wonderful team. Job, All right. So with that, should we go to to Grand's in? All right, Grand Centurion, right? In California. For and California. Uh, with no more further ado, I'm looking at uh, all these great names and doing some great things. If you're a Grand Centurion team, that means that you earned $1.2 million at about $1.218 million, when you, have, you did over 300, or you did over 312 transactions. And we'd like to congratulate Tina Hare and her team. So great job, Tina. Outstanding job. I love the fact of what you guys are doing to set the market and to do great things in it. All right, well, now let's move over to the Grand Centurion teams in the Utah market. So these guys rank number seven in all of Century 21 nationwide. Oh, I should mention that Tina ranked number one. What am I doing? I didn't for a You know what? I'm used to her being number one. So she was the number one Grand Centurion team in her category called, uh, she was in the relentless category for all of Century 21. And she did an extraordinary job, not only number one in the nation, but she, of course, is number one in earnings in the company. So Justin Beauty is the number seven Century 21 team number uh, nationwide with Relentless. Let's give a warm applause for Justin Beauty. Good job, Justin. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Step into the camera. You hey, have to let us see. You. Come over here. Let's see this guy. This is Justin Yiddy. Woo! Nice job. Congratulations, brother. You did your job. I love it. All right. You know Utah Listings team, which is our good friend, awesome dude, Mr. Uh, Austin Kales. 
who also was number 11 for Century 21 nationwide out of thousands and thousands of different teams. Great job. He was in the category of obsessed. Congratulations, Austin, and your team. Next, as a Grand Centurion team, we have Josh Johnson and his team, who were number 10 in Century 21 nationwide and part of the Obsessed Six. And he did an extraordinary job last year. Great job, Josh Johnson and team. And last but not least, uh, our good friend Dave Parker, who has what's called the Elite Team in the category of Obsessed. And he was the number three team nationwide for Century 21 who was also our last and our final Grand Centurion as a team. Great job, Dave Parker. Congratulations. Woo! All right, guys. What I have found over the years as we as we come to a close of, of this, this is a, look, you know, I, I can grab any one of these awards and I can look at them and, and I, I, the award does not, does not ever give really the level of, frankly, the sacrifice, the service, the time, the energy, the effort, the pain, the agony, the disappointment, the long days, the long nights, the early mornings. The award never really says all of that. And I know that it represents that to you. As you will get these awards, you will get these wonderful awards that are a representation of the things that you have done. My observation is, is let's not let that be the only award. Every one of you should be congratulated right now for one, the fact that you're in this business. We are in a business that is one of the single most difficult businesses that is ever out there. I want you to look at this perspective for a minute as we wrap up. We're in a business that we do all of this work for. We work every single day, every day, on the assumption that the client that we're going to work with is most likely, I say most likely, going to buy a home or is most likely going to list. Or we could put a home on the market for days or months. And the thing that's interesting about that whole process is you don't know for sure if it's going to close. What industry do you know where you could put in hours and hours and hours of effort and then still in the end not be absolutely sure? You gotta be a special person to work in this industry. You have got to be one of the best people I know. You have got to have vision. You have got to have belief. You have got to be able to accept rejection, disappointment, discouragement at moments. You have got to be able to take the highs and the lows that often happen within minutes in this business. All of a sudden, the offer is on, the offer is not. The deal is closing, the deal is not. You've got to be a really, really cool cat. You've got to be someone really special to be able to do that. Because most people, can't do that. Most people aren't built for that, but you are. So look, as we move through 2020, I wish you nothing but absolute prosperity. I wish you the best of health, that you are healthy, that your family is healthy, that those you love are healthy, your clients are healthy, that wherever you reside, whether the earth is rumbling beneath your feet because of an earthquake, or because you can't see the loved ones because of the lockdowns that are occurring everywhere, both Utah and California, my heart goes out to all the people who truly are closed for business. We have the unique opportunity to be creative here, gang, to be innovative, to be able to find a way to do business. We're gonna provide those tools for you. We're gonna ask you to bring the tools you've discovered to the team, because you know what, together we're gonna to get through this and we're gonna work and we're going to talk about these moments and we're going to say to ourselves, wow, do you remember when that happened? I know everyone. I remember right where I was standing when I saw the second tower get hit by an airplane. I know right where I was standing, right what street, I shouldn't say standing, where I was driving and I was listening to the radio and I was on Lincoln Lane, right over here, you know, where I am in Holiday, Utah. And I was driving down that road and I heard these words. Washington Mutual has gone under. That was in 2007. Life brings with it a lot of different challenges. This is one that we've never seen before. So that's why I wish you good health. I wish you the most prosperous life that you could ever have. Every relationship, every economic benefit, 
every single thing that you want out of your life. I want you to have it. So look, you know, I have a lot of opinions coming at me, guys. I have a lot of people who think that I should say this and I should say that. And I am incredibly sensitive to the ideas that people have. I really think about them a lot. I reflect upon them. I analyze them. I take a step back. I meditate on them. I pray about them. I think about them a lot. And I know that, that you have nothing but the best of intentions to help every one of us. Because together we're in this. And I want to thank you for those that are giving your constructive opinion. And I'm going to challenge us to all stay positive, to stay hopeful, to reach out to those who are in need. They're everywhere. Some of those people are already reaching out to you because they're scared. If you're scared, I get it. There's been moments where I've been scared. And there's moments where I'm still scared. And I bet you there's going to be a lot of moments where I'm still scared in the future. And if I'm just being honest, I'm speaking to you from my heart, what I'm committed to doing, and as I always have led this time, I will lead it with my heart. I will lead it. I will not lead it off a of spreadsheet. I will not lead it off a of financial. You say, well, how can you do that? Because I recognize that we're dealing with people. And you manage process. You manage finance. You manage paperwork, but you don't manage people. You lead them. And I want you to know how committed I am to helping you through every moment of difficulty and challenge that you may be having. And I just want you to recognize that you have a robust team around you. You have incredible talent that knows how to work through any deal and any transaction. In whether it be Utah or California, they are there for you. You have an incredible leadership team that is trying to ignite you, to inspire you, to motivate you, to role play with you, to help you to communicate at an even higher level. You have all these leaders around you in the industry and on our staff who are dedicated to finding the best technologies to help you to elevate your game in the game of real estate. We have up to the minute, every minute, we're watching closely so that you don't have to every minute. What's happening at the National Association of Realtors? What's happening back in Washington or not happening? What's happening in regards to the state of California and the state of Utah? What is it that the CDC is saying? What is it that the governors are each saying in each state? These are important times to know, but they are also equally as important times to act. And so look, as we go through this together, we're not wavering, we're not closing, your checks are not, your dollars are not at risk. It's never been the case. But the decisions that are made as we move forward are to protect every one of us so that we always have a company, we always have a future together. Guys, this company means everything to me. It is my heart and it is my soul. If I was to tell you I had a sixth child, this would be it, because I've got five crazy monsters. And sometimes Everest is a monster, because there's so much within it. There's so much joy. There's so much heartache. There's so much happiness. There's so much healing. There's so much tragedy. And there's so much good. That's who we are. That will not waver. And as an organization, we will lead. And when you lead, you put a target on your back. And when you lead, you have people that will want to stab you in the back. That I am aware of, but I will not stand by idly and hopelessly hope that just maybe things will get better. Guys, I hope that you're with me. I hope that you're with me for many years to come and that you aren't going to listen to the noise, to the media, to the brokers outside of our company, to the leaders that are trying to hurt you and take advantage of your pain, your heartache, and your fear. That, that is not who we are. I wish nothing but the best for my competitors, nothing for the, but the best for anything that they're trying to do to build the lives of the people around them. That's who we are, and that is who we will remain, and that is who we will be as we lead out in the most professional, honest, integrous way possible.
this hierarchy of this business for me is built on a trifecta of three things. Integrity at all costs. Above the people. Integrity at all costs. That means your checks. That means your money. That means the public's money. The trust money. That means the contracts. And you've seen many of you firsthand where I've terminated agents for the things that they have done and are not able to fix and continue to break the law or hurt people is unacceptable because I am about protecting you and you are the company. As we move through these days and we live in a life of integrity, great things are around the corner and we will remain hopeful. We will take care of our people to the best of our ability. And number three, we will then worry about the economics that go forward as we move through this, guys. But we're safe, but we will take action and we will move with decisiveness, with focus. We will hit our objectives, not because it's heartless, but because it's the right thing to do. Because we're in this together to survive and to thrive as we move forward. These are defining moments. The question is, how will you show up in these moments? Will you show up as the critic, or will you be the man or the woman in the ring with the good fight, putting forth your best effort, doing what you know how to do best, to innovate, to create, to contribute? That is who Everest is. That's who we all are every day, all day. Let's not lose the spirit of that. Let's not lose the energy of that. Let's not lose for a minute who we each individually are. We'll get the technologies in place. If they're not for you, let's get them in place for you. If you need more information, well, let's get it for you. And tomorrow, if you can join me in our call, we've got some great agents coming online. We've got Matt Salter tomorrow at 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. California time. We're going to create some other meetings that are more interactive, even for California, that Karen Betancourt and John Syed and I have talked about. We've got some great things coming ahead, gang. So stay with me. Stay positive, stay hopeful, stay excited, stay engaged. Let's go do some great things together. Thank you for being here. Congratulations for all of our 2019 winners. Now let's go out and have an extraordinary 2020. Love you guys, and we'll talk soon. Woohoo!